What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla. Let's get right into it with the chart. Three trims to choose from on this 2024 GR Corolla, the Core, Premium, and thankfully back again, Circuit Edition. Core starts you off at a pretty high, 36,100, and that Core will be nearly 45K. If you're looking to get one of these, hopefully you brought your checkbook, your wallet, and your credit cards because it's going to cost some money. Same engine option for all three, 1.6 liter turbocharged three-cylinder, don't see that too much, 300 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque, plenty of power to get out of its own way, paired with a six-speed manual, drivetrain is the GR4 all-wheel drive system, very well done by Toyota there, MPGs, not too bad, but who cares about that anyway, 21 in the city, 28 on the highway. Real quick guys, here at Ben's Car Reviews, I strive to bring the most accurate, relevant information in under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's keep going. Let's learn about this thing. We'll look at all the release pictures by Toyota. GR stands for Gazoo Racing, which is Toyota's global racing division. So anything with a GR badge in Toyota's lineup is a special vehicle with a lot of performance. The smaller engine as far as displacement is intentional for weight reduction. You know, it's not just a cool small engine. There is purpose there. The flared front and rear fenders give this a wide and mean look. Really good stance. Black accents add to the sporty look as well. The Matrix front grille has side air ducts to help airflow and increase stability, while side fender vents, a rear diffuser, and rear bumper ducts help channel that air to reduce drag and increase downforce. Fantastic design, in my opinion, on these lights, front and rear. Love the angles, just love how they look, and you get LEDs all around, which Toyota seems to really be loving to show off in these pictures. You get a super unique look in the rear uh, with the three brushed stainless steel exhaust tips, and beyond the design, they reduce exhaust back pressure and give an aggressive exhaust note. Aside from the exhaust, too, on the back, um, you get those rear functioning air vents and that diffuser that I just mentioned for an overall you know, wide, aggressive look. GR circuit tuned suspension in these. In the front, there's circuit tuned coil springs, shock absorbers, and st stabilizer bar. Uh, back, you have a double wishbone multi link system, which is used to make the most of the all wheel drive grip and performance. Toyota says the powertrain was developed to withstand almost any driving condition, and this all-wheel drive system is very advanced. Three power settings, split front and rear torque distribution to 60-40 for everyday driving, 50-50 for track and maximum stability, and 30-70 for more torque off the rear wheels. So pretty custom to what you're doing. With substantial weld points, body bracing, and an extensive use of structural adhesive, the GR Corolla's underlying structure helps reduce flex so you can be confident in sharp turns and long curves. When it comes to the stability control, you can deactivate the system with a push of a button. This system is uh, the feature that helps maintain traction and control by reducing or cutting off power sent to the wheels by automatically applying brake pressure on up to three wheels. Expert mode in this disables most of the features that limit the car, giving you more control of what you do behind the wheel. You get excellent braking performance out of these with ventilated and slotted brake rotors, four piston front fixed calipers, and two piston rear calipers. Gloss black 18 inch wheels. I love the multiple spoke design and how easily you can see the brake pads behind in motion, especially the red ones. Wheels are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4 performance tires for superb grip. The Circuit Edition made its way back into the lineup and we will still have limited availability. It's assembled at the dedicated Moto Machi GR factory by highly skilled engineers, which is the leading factor for why it's unlimited. It lands you a hood, hood bulge with dual functional vents for airflow, a rear wing for downforce, brand new for 2024 lighter matte black 18 inch alloy wheels wrapped in those same Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, forged carbon fiber roof, which will lower the center of gravity, front and rear limited slip differentials as well. And blue flame is a new color for 2024 and one of the two colors offered on the circuit edition. The best bang for your buck may seem a bit tricky at first, but I have two words for you, performance package. It's only available for the core and adds limited slip diffs, red painted brake calipers and the GR logo all over. Easy choice for me because I don't need interior amenities or the all out rally car. Let's look inside now. This interior is easy on the eyes and I think it's a perfect embodiment of less is more. Seating for five, hatchback gives you good versatility in the rear for cargo space. You get an eight inch infotainment touchscreen. In this case, I'm not disappointed with an eight inch screen because I think it works really well in this interior considering how small it is and this being a performance vehicle. 
wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto is standard. The main screen feature in this vehicle is the 12.3 inch driver's digital gauge cluster, so you can clearly see all your vital information as you're racing to Walmart. Available eight speaker JBL audio system, available heated seats and heated steering wheel. GR stitched in the headrests looks fantastic. And thank you Toyota for putting something other than the brand identifier on the steering wheel. I love the GR badge at the base. Front sport seats with aggressive side bolsters. Um, so you can, again, just drive as fast as you want to Walmart and you'll be okay. Circuit Edition gets you Bryn Naub trim sport seats with blue interior stitching, including blue accents on the shift knob. So definitely there is a visual um, you know, upgrade going with that top Circuit Edition for sure. A great array of standard driver's assist safety and technology features, including blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic assist. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 is pretty stacked for you. Overall, I think Toyota nailed this interior. They didn't need to go overboard, but being underwhelming would have been an obvious disappointment. So I think they did perfect for what this vehicle is. Interview guys, if you're wanting a vehicle just like this, hot hatch, manual transmission, you, know, you want performance, but nothing crazy. You don't want to spend 60,000 plus dollars to get something like that. then this might be a great route for you. You have this to look at. Other competitors might be the Golf uh, GTI, um, let's see, maybe the Hyundai Veloster Type N or N line, I should say, and uh, another good one would be the Honda Civic Type R. There are other comparisons out there. This is a pretty niche vehicle, um, and this GR Corolla is pretty new on the scene compared to those other ones. Um, so definitely cross compare. Uh, maybe it's good that it's a year out now. Any uh, issues hopefully have been fixed heading into 2024, and they have made some changes in the lineup. Uh, but overall, I think this would be a great way to go if you're looking to have some fun, have a real true driving experience, and not have to absolutely shell out for it. And hey, you get five seats and you get some trunk space as well. So you can't complain with that. Hope this video laid things out clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Ben's Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option now. Check that out and join if you'd like. I'll catch you on the next Ben's Car Review.